Minami Uenuma City is best known in Japan for producing some of the country's highest quality rice. But before this was possible, local farmers labored tirelessly to perfect the Koshihikari breed, which is now the most popular rice variety in the entire country. Various attributes of the city's basin climate and gifts from the heavy annual snowfall create superior growing conditions that are said to give the locally grown Koshihikari its edge. This past May, we gave planting a try, so it was only fitting that we finish what we've started and harvest the fruits of our labor. Initially, the rice crops were harvested by hand, using a sickle, plant by plant. Yet, as technology has advanced, so too have the efficiency and precision of combine machinery, which are widely used today. This year, Japan saw an unusually long seed, and as a result, many plants fell over after seeing some strong late summer winds. Although the plants were lying down, they could still be harvested by the combine. Yet to ensure that no plants were skipped, an additional step of propping up the collapsed rice stalks was necessary. Once the combine cuts the plants, it then threshes the rice grains from the stock and stores the rice in a large container. When the tank is full, it can be emptied into a large vinyl sack to be brought to the next machine or transported to a farming cooperative like JA, Japan Agriculture, that will prepare and store the rice for the farmer instead. After the rice is threshed, it needs to be dried. This is a very important step for the staple food because without reducing the moisture content, it cannot be reliably stored. The traditional method of drying rice before the use of this machinery would be hanging the plants harvested by hand up to dry in bunches. This drying rack covered in rice plants is called hazagake, or rice wall and is a symbol of the rice harvest in autumn in Minami Uenuma and throughout the Japanese countryside. After drying, the edible rice grains need to be removed from their inedible husks and are placed in a separate machine. Once the rice has been husked, it is then filtered through automatic quality assurance machinery that can differentiate between healthy rice and either unripe or inedible grains of rice and other debris that may have been threshed out along with the rice during harvest. The rice is separated and the edible genmai, unpolished brown rice, is obtained. This unmilled rice is edible on its own, but almost all koshikari rice is polished to properly highlight its spectacular taste. After several months of hard work planting, maintaining, and harvesting these crops, the taste of these shinmai really can't be beat. Tune into the next episode of Adventures in Yukiyuni to learn how this fresh rice can be best enjoyed as we will be visiting a stalwart producer of delicious Minami Uenuma local cuisine. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for the latest snow country content you won't want to miss. Thanks for watching!